What's going on guys? Before we get into the topic of the video, there's a couple things I want to tell you guys. First and foremost, I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. It means more than me than you can ever know, and you guys motivate me each and every day to make more content. Second, my social medias will be linked in the description below from Twitch, the Twitter, the my gamer tag. Reach out to me on those and um help me build this community that we worked a year and a half for. So um with that being said, let's get right into the video, guys. I'll catch you on the other side. Peace. What's going on, everyone? As you guys know, there's a lot of things going on this weekend. We have double professions. We have double experience. We have double guild marks. And we have the Winter Festival starting yesterday. Um, this video here, we're going to be talking about guild marks and what you should do with your guild marks and what you should buy leading up to Mod 15. Um, for those who don't know, the professions are being changed to Mod 15. They're being changed all around, and they're being revamped. It's a whole new rework of the profession system. Um, with that being said, it is a very deep, deep gold sink. So, um, if I was you, I would get as much gold as possible. And that's what this video is discussing. This video is going to go over how to get the most gold, and what you should do about guild marks from this point forward. Um, I've been saving up a lot of influence so we can uh, max on these guild marks. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, <clears throat> guild marks aren't as valuable anymore as they were, um, especially with the gold being... Um, less valuable than it was a year ago. So with that being said, the max is 30,000. We're gonna go to Outcast and we're gonna donate the influence. And you see I have about 12,000 influence. other perfect shards and stuff like that so we're gonna stop there at 29,000 um, there's a couple things that you guys could buy with these one if you're worried about DPS there is um, a food vendor here if you need more crit you can get more crit if you need more power you can get more power um, there is no armor pin in here so um, power and crit are your best things here if you're a DPS I'm um, prime ribbed for power And um, seared tuna here for a crit. These are things that you can buy for guild marks. This is going to increase your DPS. <clears throat> the next thing you can buy with your guild marks that will help you is overload slots. Um, the biggest one right now is the undead one. Uh, apparently, undead two doesn't really work. Um, the 10% doesn't work, but the undead one with the 5% undead is pretty good. They do not stack, so getting one, putting it on, would be pretty big for you. There's a couple other ones there if you guys are interested, but uh, that's the ones I buy since T9, Cradle, and um, MSP are the only things that I run. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to find a guild that has the merchant spawns up here. I looked around and I found one of the guilds in the stronghold who has the merchant. There's a couple merchants up here. For those who participated in these events before I know where they're at. Um, the two that are valuable is this one here. With the uh, profession stuff, resources. And um, you can also buy Mastercraft or Masterwork resources for guild marks but you need other stuff along with it um what i do is i'll go to this vendor and i'll start buying some of this stuff here especially these gems and selling them for gold you can sell them for gold so we're gonna go here we're gonna go stack of 
99 perfect gems for 99 guild marks. And I'll show you what that sells for at a vendor. Do you need supply? And this is a great way to increase your gold if you are looking to stockpile gold leading up to mod 15. This vendor also has Mastercraft here at the very back of it. Um, some of this stuff is very useful coming mod 15. Um, the last thing you do with your guild marks is there's another vendor down here. And again, this is all, you know, prioritizing what you guys need if you need more DPS get the overload and the food if you need more gold buy the professions and then sell them if you're trying to max out Mastercraft the best thing to do is go down here go to scrolls and buy whatever resource that you need being that is double uh, professional resources you're getting double professional resources from these um, explorers maps so find out what resource you need, buy them, all right? Uh, we're not gonna go through the whole map situation um, because it's kind of irrelevant with making a video for it. So you buy those, and with that being said, if that's something that you're getting ready to do, go to your boons and turn on your treasure hunter. <clears throat> this at max will double your resources again. So you're getting resources from that, and you're getting resources from the event. So, <clears throat> whatever you guys are prioritizing, this is just what you should be doing with your guild marks. Um, it, if you need gold, if you need DPS, if you need masterworks, master crafts, and all that good stuff, that's what you should be doing. Um, if you have any questions about the maps or anything else, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you with that. If you guys want to see something I haven't made already, let me know in my social medias or in the comments below. And this is all I have to say. Peace.